We're going to talk about GitHub contributions using the VS Code web editor. My name is David Warner. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And it's important to know also that uh, on this demonstration, it is going to be a live and interactive demonstration, so you're all able to participate. In fact, if you're watching the video uh, on demand after today's session, you can still participate following along. Everything you see us doing today, you'll be able to do on demand afterwards. So we look forward to seeing those uh, contributions trickle in. Let's talk about traditional GitHub contributions. So uh, you know, historically, you've had to kind of combine a number of technologies to be able to contribute via GitHub to some of our initiatives. So you'd have to install Git, uh, then you would go ahead and create a GitHub account, which is free, and then you'd use a variety of tools, and you could choose, and these are not all encompassing, but you would use the command line. Uh, you would type all of your interactions with GitHub, and not always the most favored for everyone, especially if it's new for you. Uh, you could use Visual Studio Code, download Visual Studio Code, install an extension. You still had to install Git, uh, and maybe it was a little bit more cumbersome uh, to do all those things, but it maybe was a better environment in the end because it was much more uh, clickety clackety, right? You could just uh, kind of point and click. Or you could install GitHub Desktop, uh, again, a independent solution that you could utilize. But when you combine all of these, if you're brand new and you're not sure how and where and to get started, it's a little overwhelming. And, and so combining all these tools and understanding them could be a little intimidating. Let's talk about a simplified GitHub contribution approach. Now, all you really need is GitHub and a browser. You don't even need to install VS Code if you don't want. We recommend you do, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few moments. But to actually get started making a full contribution, all you need is a GitHub account and a browser. So what does that look like? Well, let's jump directly into our demo. So let's talk a little bit about the agenda and the requirements. So uh, be logged into your GitHub account. Again, this is not just for what I'm going to show you, but for all of you, it is interactive. We're going to open up VS Code in the web. And, and maybe you're like, what, what, what kind of portal to some other world is that? Yes, it is available. We're going to create a readme file together. So you're all going to create a readme with your username file. We're going to just add a nice little geographic location to the readme greetings from wherever you're at. We're going to commit Maybe that's a new foreign term to you. Commit is just a fancy way of saying we're going to save it to GitHub. And then we're going to submit a pull request. And if the pull request term is also unfamiliar, uh, the simplified way of looking at a pull request is that you're going to make a change to a repo that you don't own or administer. But you're then going to copy it into your account, and you're going to make that change. And then you're going to send a request to the administrators of the repo you don't own to pull it in. So think of it kind of, you know, you may think you're pushing it in, but it's actually kind of the reverse. You're asking them or making the request for them to pull it back. So if anybody encounters any issues along the, the way today uh, where your experience is different from what we're presenting on the screen, just bear in mind, uh, we won't be able to stop and help anyone individually, but we can do that in the Sharing is Caring sessions. Uh, we provide hands-on guidance, so please sign up. We'll have some links for you to do that, uh, but let's see if we can break some records today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pull up the page uh, and the repository we're going to edit. So if you go to pr.sharing.ms, uh, that is going to take you to the Sharing is Caring repository. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to put that in right there. And that's going to take you to the Sharing is Caring repository. Now, this is a GitHub. We're probably all familiar with it. If we've ever been to it, it's uh, likely been a little intimidating because you're seeing a lot of foreign terms uh, like fork uh, and uh, you know a variety of other things that we may not be familiar with. Uh, but there is a very, very cool thing hiding behind all of this that I bet you didn't know. So bring up this URL, make sure you're logged in. Now I'm using an account here that is not my typical account. Uh, and again, I'm just calling that out because if I were to do it as my typical account, it would be an administrative account. So I want you to see everything that I'm seeing. I have no special rights here. Uh, so there's nothing I'm doing that's unique to what you're going to be able to do. But when you're on this page, github.com forward slash PNP forward slash sharing dash is dash caring, I want you to do one little thing that probably and hopefully will blow your mind. Hit the period key. Now, you can't see me doing this, uh, so I'm describing it, but hit the period key and you're going to see the results of that. Setting up the web editor. Now, what this has done, let's take a moment, uh, is it's actually just changed our URL. Right, so it's taken us to github.dev forward slash PNP forward slash sharing is caring. Uh, and so you could actually do that by just changing the URL there from .com to .dev, but it's taken us into a 
web version of VS Code. Right now, there are a number of maybe familiar things to you. If you're familiar with it, like extensions, you can actually install some extensions via the web, which is crazy. Um, and it utilizes uh, the functionality of a, a real extension in VS Code uh, called GitHub repositories, which we'll talk about in a moment. But you can do everything here as if you had installed Git and were using any one of those other tools I told you about. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a new file, all of us together, uh, and we're going to submit a pull request together, each individually. So we've got this folder here uh, called PNP Demo Contributions. All right. Uh, and if you open it, uh, there's just a sample. Uh, and we're just going to leave that there. We use that to instantiate the folder. Uh, and you can create a new file in a couple of ways. You can right click and select new file. Right. Or if you're clicked on the folder and we want to make sure we're clicked on the folder, you can also do the little new file icon right there. Uh, and that will create a new file. So uh, in either case, it's a little easier to right click on the folder and select new file that ensures that you're creating a file in that folder. Uh, and so you you want to click new file and that's going to open up a little text box here. Uh, and I'm going to just type Warner digital. MD. Now, it's important that you'll type whatever your username is, right? You want to make sure you type whatever your username is because we want a bunch of unique files here, right? If we all name the same file, we're going to create collisions and overwrite each other's files. And so this will ensure that all GitHub usernames are unique. So you hit enter. And that just creates a simple little uh, markdown file. And, and we're not going to do anything crazy here. We're just going to say greetings from and i'm going to say los angeles los, los, los angeles not los angeles uh angeles angeles yes and uh just add a couple of heart emojis um and you can actually go ahead and put in whatever uh, it is that you're from we'll, we'll see where everyone's from this is a nice way of showing how far uh spread the community is uh, and you'll notice I don't have to save, right? Everything is automatically saved. And we kind of see that if we look right over here, uh, that is what identifies changes that we're making in this repository, right? Um, and so we see one, and that's because we added this little markdown file, and we see that as well by the little A icon, which means added. Um, now, again, don't feel overwhelmed by all this. We want you to join a sharing and caring session to learn more. We're just uh, showing you how simple it is for you to interface directly into GitHub. Now, we talked about not owning uh, any of these repos, right? Like none of us are using an account that owns this repo or is an administrator in this repo. So how is it that we're going to make this change? Well, if you click on the source control at this point, it's automatically saved. You click on the source control and it shows the changes that we've made, right? So there's our file. Um, in fact, we could double click on that and it shows us what the before and after was because it never existed before. So now it exists and it's showing us what we added, right? Now, in addition to that, what we can do uh, is, I'll close that, open that back up, um, and it says, uh, to create a pull request, enter a message. Now, we're not going to create a pull request directly from here, um, but what we are going to do is commit. So we still want to uh, enter a message, and we'll just say, added greetings file, uh, something simple. You can write whatever you want, and we want to commit it. Uh, and so you'll notice when I hover over the little checkbox there, it allows me to commit. Now, again, commit is a fancy way of saying save, but you may think, how is it that we're going to commit to a repo that we don't own? Well, that's where the source control comes in. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click commit. And it's going to tell me right here, you're trying to make changes to a project you don't have right access to because we're not an administrator. So it's going to ask me, do you want to create a fork of this project to commit the proposed changes to? So remember, a fork is just a fancy way of saying make a copy of it in my account so I can make changes to it and then we'll submit a pull request. So yes, if you get this message, then you want to select fork repository. Now for anyone that's already joined a sharing is caring session and already forked the sharing is caring repo, you, you likely will not get this message because you've already forked it. You'll go directly to where it asks you the next thing, uh, which is, would you like to create a branch? And so, yes, we want to create a branch. We're not going to get into too much detail on exactly what a branch is, uh, but it is a copy of a copy. Join the sharing is caring again if you'd like to learn more about it. But it's just a normal way of uh, software development lifecycle contributions uh, in making a copy of a copy. Uh, so it's an isolated uh, place to make your changes. We'll leave it at patch one or whatever the name of yours is. So you hit enter. 
Uh, and now it's told me, okay, uh, committed, again, fancy way of saving, your changes to your fork of sharing is caring. Do you want to switch to your fork to continue to make changes? So we're going to say, yes, we want to switch to fork. And now it refreshes it, and you'll notice that the URL is no longer uh, pointing at PNP sharing is caring. It is now pointing at whatever your URL is, whatever your account name is, right? Because now we've made that change. Uh, we've got a copy of a copy here, patch one. Uh, and if I expand this, then we can see there's my file. Now, none of us are going to see each other's files yet, right? Because we are uh, not making a pull request, so we just see our own. So how do we make that formal pull request? There is a couple of ways. We could actually do it directly from here if we wanted to, right? So if I were to come here and say pull request, create pull request, it actually creates a little interface here showing me exactly how to do that. Um, there's a little newness here, though. It doesn't include things like our pull request template. I wanted to point this out, though, just so you knew it. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little hamburger menu item here and select go to repository. All right, go to repository. And what that does is it opens up a new tab and takes us to our repository. And it shows, in fact, or it should show patch one had pushes one minute ago, right? Now it shows us here is our branch list right here, um, but we can compare and pull requests. So if you don't see this little yellow, uh, little yellow box and the button, you can always go to your branch right here. When you drop down, it should show your branches, and there is my branch right there. Uh, so I'm going to select that. Now, when I select that, it shows I'm ahead, right? And so I could click compare pull request, or, or you have this contribute button right here that shows that as well. Right? So either of those buttons are the exact same thing. You want to click open pull request. Now, what we've done um, is we created a pull request template specifically for this call. Uh, so just real briefly, we're going to run through updating that. So you want to fill in an X. You can always use the preview tab to show the PNP demo has been checked. This is the category. Uh, again, every repository has specific PNP or uh, pull request templates to fill out. It's always important to read them. We're making this one pretty accelerated for the demo. So I'm just going to say PNP uh, greetings demo. Uh, and so we fill that out. You can click the preview tab to make sure everything looks accurate. Uh, as you scroll down, you're able to see all of the changes we made. We're adding a file, one addition, who made it, commit, again, fancy way of saying save, one file change, contributor. Okay, so now uh, the rubber hits the road. Don't pay any attention to this up here. This is showing where we're going to push it to. Uh, and again, we talk more about this in our sessions. It's already uh, defaulted to master for you. And you should be able to click create pull request. And if all goes well, uh, my email will be blowing up here and anyone subscribed. I already see five pull requests, 17. Awesome. And they continue to come in. So clearly everyone is doing well. That is fantastic. And here they come. I'm going to mute my, my speakers. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about some options that are available to you. You may not love editing everything in the browser, but uh, it is amazing that that technology exists. Everything we just did in that web-based experience is also available in a, a, a GitHub repositories VS Code extension. If you do enjoy working within VS Code, it is highly recommended you have a little bit more uh, experience that you can take advantage of. And so uh, you can go install this. It's only a few months old, actually and it will give you that same experience. You have to authenticate from within VS Code uh, to your GitHub account, whereas through the browser, you're already authenticated, so it just simplifies that. Uh, but take advantage of that VS Code extension. It is very, very cool. If you had trouble in this uh, demonstration and interactive collaboration opportunity, um, please don't let it frustrate you. Come join us sharing is caring. We have a first time contributor session that will walk you through that hands on safe space opportunity. And we will show you all of those cool tools in a number of sessions. Uh, we absolutely want to see you get more involved, but we wanted to highlight how simple it really is to go from zero to pull request within just what we've done in 15 minutes using the amazing new technology that's available to us. So thank you again all for your time on this. GitHub Repositories VS Code extension, you can get to at uh, ghextinge.sharing.ms and of course, aka.ms sharing is caring. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. We love to see you get more involved. Mm -hmm.